This is a great quilt called Playtime. Our pattern is available on our website, www.thimble-art.com. And we're going to show you how easy and how fun this little guy is. We begin by making our dimensional pieces. So we've copied our pattern piece and placed it on top of two pieces of fabric that are right sides together and thin polyester bonded batting. Then we're going to set our stitch length a little shorter and sew on the solid line. Then we'll cut on the outside dashed line, remove the paper, turn it right side out. Now this is where I like to take a lot of time to really press so that it has just a, a neat rounded shape. And then this of course has had extra polyfill uh, stuffing to um, make it even puffier, more dimensional. I like that. Now for the legs, we foundation piece, put our pattern piece out there, we foundation piece the, the little booties and the flesh, one and two. Trim the extra out of the seam. Now if you've got a really dark booty and you don't want a shadow of fabric showing in the seam, you can cut your booty here in the seam a little shorter than your flesh. You know how you press to the dark. We can't really do that with foundation pieces, but you can undercut. Okay, now we're going to fold this exactly on the dashed line like that. Now we're going to put polyester bonded batting right up to that edge. Now we're going to sew on the solid line cut on the dashed line and take the paper out. Now when you're taking the paper out you're going to have to kind of dig it out the back in between the batting here. And then of course that has um, take your time uh, pressing it as well and then add extra polyfill. Now when you add the polyfill I don't put much up here where the seam, where it's going to be seamed because that would be too bulky. And it kind of helps it flop a little bit. It's not too tight up here stuffed. Okay, so that's how we make the legs and the arms. The uh, head is sewn all the way around and so in order to uh, turn it, you're going to have to slit one layer. Turn it right side out and that, that slit is going to be next to the quilt block. Now I've stuffed this and then I top stitched his ears like that. So that's how you make your, your dimensional parts. Now we'll show you how to put them together in the block. Okay, now we're going to put our block together. This is really fun. We've Xeroxed our block and we've foundation pieced one, two, Three, four, one being flesh or a little t-shirt color, two being the diaper, three and four being background. Now, if you're not familiar with paper piecing or foundation piecing, look at our other videos. They're really pretty good. Okay, now we need to know where to place his feet and his hands. And there are no indications on this side because we're putting all of our fabric on the unprinted paper side. So we're going to turn it over machine, machine based here and here. And that will transfer that location to this side. Now, we've previously made this little diaper triangle, and if you put that point right to the top of the diaper, then these raw edges are a quarter of an inch below the basting. So the raw edges will be caught in that seam. Now, we've got his little feet. We've put those raw edges of his feet. Of course, the toe's pointing out the same way, and we want all of that to be within the edges of the diaper. We don't want his feet hanging out here. We'll pin that to secure it. We're going to place a, a background piece that we cut big enough for this area, right side down. Now oh, let's do it this way. Right side down along that edge so that the bulk of the fabric is opposite where we're going to cover. Turn it over. Of course, this will all be secured and pinned. Machine sew that whole line. Trim the extra out of the seam, and this will fold back and cover this area. Okay, then we're going to do the same thing with the top. Pretend that's already done. So we've got our machine basting right here. And here we've got our little 
open edge goes beyond that basting again and the little thumbs are in because when they come back like that they're gonna be in the right position okay so we just do our hands here pin them to secure them cut our piece of fabric big enough to cover this area background place it right side down so that the edge is a quarter of an inch above that basting line so it'll be in the seam so the bulk of the fabric is opposite the area we're going to cover and that's all pinned to secure turn it over and sew that whole line and you will have this when you're done just like that little hands are going to plop back like that and the head we're going to machine we're going to hand blind stitch into place. And the eyes, I'm just going to cut white felt and uh, kind of blanket stitch or just whip stitch around the outside with white thread and then black or any color you want the pupils to be. The little nose, I just um, color with a little colored pencil and then I outline stitch the mouth. And I'll show you that in the quilt when it's finished. Of course now this is ready to turn it over and with my rotary cutter I'll cut it on the dash line. When you cut it on the dash line make sure these little guys are out of the way because you'll just whip right through that. I know I've done that before. Just pull them up and then cut them and it's ready to put into your block in your quilt. We'll show you that. Now we've put him together. He's all in the quilt. We've taken little pieces of felt and put them in position for the eyes and just whip stitched around the outside with matching thread. Little French knot for the sparkle in the eye. A little color pencil will just give a little dimension to his nose and then an outline stitch for the mouth. He's been blind stitched onto his body, the head, and I, hold, I do the blind stitching in about a quarter of an inch around and that will keep him from being smashed down to the quilt gives him more dimension now for his the little ribbon around his booty you take this thin ribbon and a thicker eyed needle and just go in and out around maybe kind of hard to pull but you just work with it like that Leave some out here for tying. Go around like that. Doesn't have to be a lot of stitches to give the effect. There we go. Whoops. Get them around there. Now we're going to tie a bow right here. And then that's just giving a real cute detail to his booty. I've put a bow here to keep his diaper up, make it kind of decorative. Now, once you've made your um, bow to keep it from untying, take the loops and make another knot like that. And that will keep that from untying. And there we've got just a darling block and I hope you enjoyed this.